Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to take a green screen background and put a person in front of a pure white background like you see in the TV commercials. It's pretty easy to do using Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio. What I've done so far is I've drugged this clip right here up into a video track, and what I want to do is apply the chroma key effect to that. And to do that, I go over to the edge of the clip and select the Event Effects icon. And on the Event Effects plug-in chooser, I'm going to choose Sony Chroma Blur, and then Sony Chroma Keyer. Double click both of them and then click OK. I'm going to click the Sony Chroma Blur and set the blur to be about 0.5. And then I'm going to go to Chroma Keyer, click on that, and select the color. And to do that, I use the color picker icon. I click that. When I choose the color, what I want to do is I want to get as much color that is the background that I can get. So I generally draw a very tall box like that. And you can see the background went black. Now what I want to do now to get a really good key is to click the show mask only area, which is right there. And the idea here is to make the talent portion all white and the background all black. And to do that, I'll adjust the sliders. First, I'm bringing the blur amount just up a little bit and adjust the sliders down. So right there, the talent is all white. You can see it over here. And now I've got to bring the background up. And there's a point where the background will start taking out the talent, so you have to adjust these to get it just the right place. But with enough adjusting, you can get it just so that there's pure white and pure black. Right there looks pretty good. Now I'm going to turn off the show mask only, and you can see what it looks like. Now what I can do now is I can leave the chroma key box up and slide a background on the screen just to see what it looks like. We're going to put some clouds back there, put the mouse over it, and see how good a key we have. And right here you can see it looks pretty good. So if we like that, we'll close the chroma key window down. We'll remove that background of the clouds. And now we want to put a solid white background. And to do that, we go to Media Generator. We select Solid Color, and we choose White. And drag it up on the screen right underneath it. And you don't have to change any settings on the solid color. And drag it for the full length of the video. And now you see right here what it looks like with the white background. When you play it, you may find out that there are certain areas that you need to go back and adjust the chroma key. We'll play it, see what it looks like. I notice there's a little bit of a blur around the edge, and what I can do is I can go back into my chroma key effect and push the blur up mount up just slightly to take that harsh edge off and play it again. And then to adjust anything else, what I can do is I can open the video effects icon again, select chroma key here, click my show mask, and then with the show mask, I can fine tune to make sure that I've got all the thresholds just the way. And when you do this, if you end up seeing this screen, it means you did not turn off the show mask only. So you turn it back on, and there we go. Remember, we started with a green background, and we could have put any kind of background we wanted behind that. In fact, I can remove that white background and put clouds behind her, or I can put a, a flood behind her so it makes it look like she's doing the weather from, say, a flooded out area. And you notice this particular background has got some black edges. I can fix that with a pan and crop. I select event pan and crop and just fix the background so it fits her nicer. So it looks like she's out in the storm, when really, as we know, she's standing in front of a green screen. Anyway, this is how you use green screen to put different backgrounds and put that white background on it. I'm Bill Myers. This is another one of my video tips. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And find lots of chroma key tips in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio DVD, which is available at Amazon and my own website.